California when you have the nation's strictest gun laws and then you acquit uh, a felon who used a gun to murder someone. That is just completely politically retarded. It's just crazy to me that the guy would be acquitted. I mean, if you accidentally, like, uh, kill someone with your car, that's, like, uh, unintentional vehicular, you know, homicide or manslaughter, whatever you call it. And in the case, I believe they're trying to place the blame not on him, but on the gun. It was a uh, feather trigger is what they're saying, something like that. Who the hell cares what it was? He shot it. He, even if he didn't mean it to intentionally shoot her, he still did. And I don't buy all this bogus crap about him just finding the gun under a park bench. Come on, man. It's like I watch a, when you watch an episode of Cops, the first thing, the one thing that all of the criminals have in common, no, Mr. Officer, no, those drugs, no, I found those. They're not mine. I just think that California is so anti-Trump right now. This whole resist movement has just gone completely full retard. Hashtag resist. You know, even if we become morally bankrupt in doing it. So, I mean, they blamed the gun and they're quitting this guy. It's a, a corrupt, politically motivated case. The judge, the jury, and the DA. And they're going to let this man free again, and uh, I think for like the seventh time. And they're going to let him free in cuck country. And from what I understand in the story, he tried to shoot a sea lion. I mean, what the heck? It's just hilariously absurd to me. This whole resist anything Trump, this hashtag me too, it's just gone completely bonkers. To me, it's like the justice system has gone completely, it's just biased. Here in California, our gun control laws are super strict. So it's like a real slap in the face when they let this guy off, but then they say, oh, you can't protect yourself with a gun. Um, but this guy who was an illegal immigrant shot shot someone, someone died, uh, but he's let off basically. It's this, and there's just so much other crap in California right now that is really pushing me to move out of California. I'd like to see someone interview a legislator and just flat out ask them, is it now legal for an illegal Mexican to murder white people in California? And just get them on record admitting that. I mean, just make the tagline of California, people don't kill people, guns do. It's, I don't know, man. I feel like this verdict it had, it had nothing to do with the actual crime. I think it was like the jury, they just decided to, you know, like spit in the face of Republicans. These people watching mainstream media, they're, they're just being indoctrinated into this theology that conservatives are evil, they're hateful, and they're racist. Because the president commented on it. He saw the injustice that happened to that white girl, Kate. And he made public comments about it. And he politicized it. And I feel like the jury is also politic like politicizing it. I feel like they're making a game with their verdict. My feeling is this acquittal, it was done solely as a big, like a big F you to Trump. If a Trump supporter had, you know, quote, accidentally, you know, shot and killed a woman who was an illegal Mexican, this, this would be totally different, man. They, they would have convicted him and they would have tried him for first degree murder and they would have given him the death penalty, no doubt. And what's crazy to me is this is not the first time this has happened. This is a trend. Uh, it was in uh, 2014. There was an illegal alien. Uh, she was driving a car and ran over two kids that were laying in the leaves on the side of the road. Um, and her story is BS. She claims that, um, you know, she didn't all she she thought she ran over a rock, you know, and then she drove home. And then she says her brother later uh, went by the rock and noticed the uh, father was laying over, uh, looking over the two dead bodies. The two his two dead girls brought the brought his sister back that ran over the kids. And um, yeah, so anyways, she was acquitted on that. Yeah, and the court is not going to have an appeals case on that. She was an illegal alien, ran over, killed two children. Uh, six years old, uh, the 
the other one was 11, I think. And scot free. <laughs> She's not going to be deported, and there are no charges. Um, you know, on, you know, she's she had to. I think she had to do a little bit of probation or something like that. But um, yeah, dude, she's scot free. So this is not the first time this has happened. This is a trend. It seems as though you are a special class if you are an illegal alien. Uh, if you if you legally find your way sneaking into this country, you have some extra special rights on when you're in this country. Um, you're a higher class citizen um, than even regular citizens. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. What in the world is going on at this point? I hate to make a joke, but it's it's kind of funny. Do you remember the ad uh, for R R Roy Moore <laughs> when, uh, you know, that political campaign, uh, they're driving pickup truck, with, uh, one of those Confederate flags or something like that on the truck, and he's trying to run down illegal alien kids, you know. Well, this is a real life example, not some BS, uh, you know, politics, uh, race baiting, you know, political ad. This has really happened. This is real life. This girl ran over two children, and, you know, there's no consequences, apparently. You know, I have an idea. Why don't we make all the illegals build the wall? Hey, the walls work, you know, let's not create this BS where we say, they, oh, well, well, you know, anyone can get a tall ladder and get, you know, climb over the wall. No, uh, look at Israel. They built a wall and it keeps almost all of the Palestinian terrorists out. And it's not just a wall. They have, you know, security forces for the wall. Uh, they have scanners, uh, whatever, x-rays to look into the earth and make sure that they're not building tunnels. They're, we can keep our borders safe. We don't need to be overrun by illegals. Um, it's not, you know, most of them are good, but it's the ones that are bad. Why are we protecting them? Why are we giving them this special class where uh, they have a license to murder? I mean, if you really think about it, it's just a license to murder. And these politicians and especially the judges, we have laws on the books for aiding and abetting an illegal alien. And in fact, that's what they're doing when they're, you know, not giving them any sentencing and just letting them go. We should hold them accountable. The judges that uphold these laws for sanctuary cities, that's a complete rebellion against federal law, and they need to be held accountable. These, these judges with their leftist, you know, the Democrats with their leftist lean, they're basically saying, they're basically saying, if you come to America illegally, you can kill people illegally too, um, as long as they're white and you're brown. Uh, because we're not racist, we don't want to be racist. I wonder what uh, Black Lives Matter has to say about this. <laughs> Why are they silent when they, these things happen? Because whites are not a minority, even if they are, in fact, by numbers, a minority. Anyways, I, I'm just so sick of these double standards. We don't have equality. A true equality, yeah, that's what I want, where if someone commits murder, everyone gets the same, the same punishment. So that's all I have to say about this, and um, I think what we need is equality. You know, real equality, not equality with special rights for certain classes of humans. If you commit a crime, you commit murder, you get the same punishment regardless of your skin color. I've got a new game that I've added to my description in the videos, all the way from level one to level six. What level are you? Share it in the comments section. As always, subscribe, upvote, leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys and girls. Catch you in the next episode.